Hey guys, the Apple Employee here today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure data on H2 Wireless on your iPhone 4 or any other iPhone that's on H2 Wireless. So, there's two ways that you can do this. The first way is for people that do not have their iPhone jailbroken. There is a way you can get data to work on non-jailbroken iPhones on this carrier, but unfortunately you will not be able to get MMS to work. Okay, so first what you're going to need to do is go on Wi-Fi and go into Safari. And you're going to go to this website called unlockit.co.nz. I should have a caption right now. And you should see this screen. It's an APN changer website. You're going to go ahead and click continue. And you're going to click custom APN. And you're going to see where it says carrier. You're going to scroll all the way down to U.S until you see H2 a wireless there you guys go I don't know if you guys can see that but then you're just gonna create the profile install just click done and exit right out of there and you should see this new icon on your springboard that says unlockit.co.nz and the other way is for users that do have their iPhone jailbroken. I'm using this H2 wireless on iOS 5 GM version. So luckily the, G the jailbreak is available for the GM version of iOS 5. So what you're going to do is go ahead and go into Cydia. And you're going to search for Tether Me. You can get this uh, package cracked or you can just pay the full price I don't quite know the full price so that's up to you you're gonna search tether me like I just said there's a couple of uh, sources that do have it Let's just go ahead and wait for this to load real quick Sorry guys, my city is taking forever. Okay, now you should get a lot of uh, repos that offer this. If you've added, I've added the Insanely Y repo, Cydia.xlize repo, and the Sinful iPhone repo. If you haven't added that, you will not see it, but it's also available in the Big Boss repo don't quite know the price but it should tell me right now oh it costs 4.99 in the big boss repo or you can get the cracked version by adding the cracked repos and once you're done your device should respring and now what you have to do is go into settings go into general network and you should now see the cellular data network tab just go ahead and click on it and I should now have a caption right now of what to put but for cellular data, you're going to put att.mvno. For visual voicemail, just leave it like that. I don't quite know how to configure visual voicemail on this carrier. And for MMS, you're going to put WAP. No, I'm sorry. You're going to put att.mvno. And you're going to have to put a whole bunch of stuff for the MMSC, MMS proxy, and MMS message. Size. I should have a caption right now or I should have it in the description on what to put and these settings should be here by now but sometimes the MMS one is, uh, where the APN says sometimes it says WAP.singular but and sometimes when you reboot the phone the settings will go away so go ahead and check the description and they should be there and yeah that was just a quick video on how to set up your MMS and data on H2 wireless and I got to say I'm really loving this carrier on my iPhone 4 it's way faster than T-Mobile Edge and Simple Mobile and yeah so if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know please follow me on Twitter I should have a caption right now saying my Twitter username and please subscribe if you like my videos